It's the ending in the storybook The chance you know you should have took Nor the advice your father gave away When all that you're hoping to find Is the whisper you can't leave behind So you try Mother's kiss on the smallest wound, her gentle touch that pulls you through, standing at your door to say goodnight. That feeling when you go astray, forgotten words that got away. The goodbye you did not know would be the last. When all that you're hoping to find is that whisper you can't leave behind. So just trust your heart, you'll get your wings and fly So you'll try So you'll try Go on the left, knives on the right. Am I the only one who cares about throwing a good party? Yes, McKenna, you're the only one who cares about the party. None of us could possibly care as much as you. What are forks even for? Emmelyn, that cake is for the party. Relax, that's the keep Emmelyn away from the real cake cake. Don't worry, I won't let her ruin the real cake. That's the let Harper think she's guarding the real cake, cake. Alita put me in charge while she went to the wedding ceremony, and she said that everything has to be perfect, so I... Hey! Where do you guys want this? <sighs> Finally, something done right. Look at the size of that thing. It must be worth a fortune. Or at least a lot of money. From your first breath to my last, Alita wants to give it to them as soon as they get here. Now if they show up right after the wedding ceremony, the sun should be directly above us, so that will make the optimal placement. Stop being so smart and hang it on the rock. Be careful. Alita spent months on that. Relax. Everything is taken care of. Do you think they'll like it? Of course. It's perfect. That's enough admiration. We still have plenty of work to do. Now, what time did Alita say they're coming? They're not. I've reevaluated our priorities. We've wasted far too much time on them, so I'm canceling the party. What do you mean? What happened? Nothing happened. Fairies belong in the forest, and humans belong out there. But, Alita, you've always said... No fairy will have any contact with humans from this day forward. Alita, what about your gift? Leave it. As a reminder of our mistake. Is that it? Are we ever going to see them again? If Alita says we aren't, then that's the way it will be. Now throw out the cake and start taking down the decorations. My 
Pop was the most stubborn man I know. When I was nine, we moved to the city for mom's work, and I didn't want to leave my pop because he was my whole world, but he told me it'd be all right because if you love something, truly love something, then nothing can keep you apart. I thought he was just being nice, but... When we got there, there was a computer waiting for me with a note that said, because I truly love you, and a P.S., as soon as I figure out how this works, I'll call you. After a day of cursing and phone calls, my pop figured out how to call me on the computer. And every day after that, without exception, help me with my homework and he'd send me silly videos on my birthday. <laughs> he'd just listen to me if I wanted to talk. <laughs> he was my best friend and I'm really gonna miss him. <laughs> the worst part was finding out that my pop was wrong because no matter how much I loved him, Not having fun at the party, Petal. It's not a party game, it's a funeral. Sounds like someone should tell them that. How come you're not sad? Don't you miss him? The only time I miss someone is when I'll never see them again. Just because you left the farm didn't mean I wouldn't see you again, right? Not really the same thing. Sure it is. I believed I'd see you when your mum moved you away, and here you are. Well, I wish we had a better reason for coming back. Did I ever tell you about the time I helped invent popcorn? No. Well, I was at a fair. And I bumped into a fire eater who spat his fire at the corn vendor. Oh, he was really angry about losing his hair until the corn started popping. <laughs> Gammy, did you guys get horses? Oh, no, dear, we don't have horses. Oh. Do you still like horses? I love them. Ugh. Mom still takes me for lessons, but it's inside, so it's not the same. I really miss going on the trails with Pop. Probably why he got you this then. Gammy, but you just... We don't have horses. We just have this one. Hi there. Careful, honey. Tanner's fussy. He's beautiful. Pop's the only one who could take him out. Others tried, but Tanner knows who he likes and who he doesn't. You miss him too, don't you? He can see you have his eyes. I would never hurt you. Looks like someone has a new best friend. What are you doing? Mom, look. This is Tanner. Isn't he handsome? Yes, but can you stay back from there? Mom, I ride them all the time. Well, that's different. This is a farm horse. <laughs> a farm horse? It was Pops's, and Gammy said Amanda, that I could... Amanda, we'll talk about this later. The guests are leaving. We have to say goodbye. Come on, sweetie. Let's say goodbye to the party guests. <laughs> and I will tell you all about the time that I met Elvis. Oh, he was very handsome. Thank 
condolences from our family. Take care. Thank you. Charlie, thanks for coming. How could I miss this? My dad would have been so happy to see so many friendly faces. You don't understand, Mom? No, we're just here for the weekend. I've got to go back to work. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could drop by my office in the morning? It's just some business to finish up. Sure thing. I'll come by first thing. Do you still like blueberry scones? <laughs> I'll wear my belt loops. Okay. Mom, what is that? I have no idea. Can you help me with the kitchen? I have to put some stuff away. Yeah, sure. Amanda, have you seen my toothbrush? I don't have one on me, but ah! there's one in there. What? Why? Patty? Patty? What on earth are you doing? Mom, stay back. Amanda, call 911. Oh, for heaven's sake. No, 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 no. Dylan, no. Dylan. No. no. Are you okay? Yeah. Mom, you know him? This is Dylan. He helps me with the day to day. Oh. I'm so sorry. Ah, it's my fault. I, I thought you'd like a hot bowl of opium. <laughs> Kind of regretting the hot part now, though. Mom, why didn't you tell me about him? Because it's Dylan. He's always here. Oh, that clears that up then. Well, I'm off. I gotta go downtown to see Charlie. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Amanda, do me a favor and make sure. Um, Dylan. Okay. Or intruder. You know, I'll answer to both. <laughs> okay, if you can help Dylan get cleaned up, that'd be great. Um, then can I go see Tanner? No, sweetie. You've got to get ready. We've got to get to the airport on time. I thought we weren't leaving until tomorrow. Sweetheart, you've just got here. I know, but work called, and I've got this mess. Mom! Grown-up decisions, Amanda. All right. Sorry about that. Uh... Violent toenail throwing? Yeah, no, it's, it's fine. It's not fair. <sighs> Come on, Petal. It's not that bad. Oh, no, you guys go. I'll, I'll take care of this. So while it may look like they're close sometimes, I promise they are very far away. So neither of you have to worry about the sun and the moon crashing into each other. Huh. That actually kept me up all night. Oh, now I'm sad because they'll never get to be together. <laughs> hey. Want to throw the disc at the edge of the forest? <gasps> yes! Can I pick teams? Sure. Okay, I choose Evelyn! <gasps> I was so worried you weren't going to pick me. I felt like the moon to your sun. I don't have a sun. All right, let's go. Losing daylight? Wait, why do we have to play at the edge of the forest? I don't know, just more open space. You're trying to see that girl. What? No. I just think that there'd be better range for throwing. <sighs> tell me you just aren't a tiny bit interested. I knew it. I'm going to tell Alita. Aren't you curious? Come on, you of all the fairies, all you do is study. Think of all the things you could learn. Rules are rules. Well, what else would they be? And I'm not interested in learning what they have to offer. Alita is quite clear on this point. We're not going, and that's final. Okay, forget her. Let's just fly out to the edge and have a look. I promise, we'll just look. I don't know, Callie. I don't want to get in trouble. Come with us. We'll tell you the sad story about the sun and the moon. Nah, you guys go ahead. Good morning. Sorry, they didn't have blueberry. Do oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I look like I mind? <laughs> have a seat. Still the sheriff as well? <laughs> no 
no one else stupid enough to do it. <laughs> I remember when you first walked in here. Do you remember that? I remember walking in with my little piggy bank, telling you to drop a emancipation agreement. <laughs> <laughs> I think you called it an exaggeration agreement. <laughs> Coming in here acting like a grown up at eight years old. Somebody had to act like a grown up in that house. Yeah, I guess your folks did beat to their own drums. <laughs> drums? More like pots and pans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't keep you long. I know you're a busy gal. Just a bit of paperwork to make it all legal. Thanks, Charlie. You know, I just want to get my mom into someplace nice. How's that? Well, I looked at a few retirement homes, and I'm not sure it's going to be an easy conversation to have. What? He didn't tell you. Tell me what? What did he do? <laughs> Just your dad beating those pots and pans. What? I don't understand. He left me the house? Why wouldn't he give it to Mom? I think it was part of the bigger plan. He wants to make the place into a bed and breakfast? As far as I know, everything's been done. What? Your dad, he worked on this for a whole year. He didn't tell you anything about this? <sighs> dad. What did you do? Well, did make this for you. Hi, Peanut. If you're seeing this, I'm sorry to say I've gone. Charlie, I bet you're wearing that silly green tie, aren't you? trying to tell you green is off-putting i'm leaving you all my ties there's only three of them but all of them would be better than that one by now i'm sure charlie's told you about my little surprise i'm sorry to spring it on you like this peanut but we both know that if i tried to tell you about the idea you just shut me down before i even got going I know I'm asking a lot of you. Come on home and run a bed and breakfast with your mom and, 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 and Amanda. But when I look at everything you've done, I, quite frankly, I, I couldn't be prouder of you. My little girl went off and took on the whole world and beat them. And boy, I've loved being in your cheering section. I couldn't just leave this world without giving you and Amanda this gift. The gift of family, because you deserve it. Just say the word if you want to leave. Your mum doesn't even know about it. Just tell Charlie and he'll sell the place off. You go back to your big city living. Your call. How can I say no to that? I got her, didn't I? Charlie, with all that guilt and stuff, I, I, I did. I got her. <laughs> well, that's it, really. I've set up everything. Dylan knows all about it and fill you in on everything. That is, if you're granting a dying man his wish. I truly love you, Patty. I always have them. From your first breath to my last. Charlie, how do I switch this thing off? <laughs> so, what do you think, kiddo? I think.
think it's just inherited a bed and breakfast. <laughs> Gammy? Gammy? Up here! Still not big on cleaning, huh? Ah, pish posh. A clean house is a sign of a boring life. Well, then this place is very not boring. <laughs> what are you working on? What? Well, can't you tell? It's a sculpture of you and your new friend. Am I really that ugly? If you want to see the beauty, if you have to believe in it. Well, I believe it looks like a pretzel. But it's a very good pretzel. Oh. Oh. I have missed you. Damn, you're getting clay all over me. Oh, I am so sorry. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Guess you must be pretty handy with a mop, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'll clean it. Don't worry about it. You're gonna have to save your strength. For what? Well, I figure we can start with the fence, and then once we're done that, we're gonna have to repaint the side of the house. I think it's gonna stay white, but like a, like a lighter shade of white. Seriously? Well, it's either that or the other job. Well, what's the other job? Well... Somebody's got to take care of Tanner. You know, feed him, brush him, hang out with him all day. Really? Can I, Gam? He's waiting for you. Are you sure? I picked out a really nice shade of white. Uh, and I mop myself into a corner. Morning, Tanner. Look what I brought you. That's good, isn't it? I can't believe I just met you and I already have to leave. You know, maybe I can convince Mom to come back next summer. What's wrong, buddy? You want to go for a run? Man, Mom would totally ground me. It'll be worth it, come on. Pop took you out there a lot, huh? What's wrong, buddy? I see we just fly out and say hello. What's the worst that could happen? You can't talk to her. McKenna said. McKenna is not the boss of us. Who knows if she can even hear us? Hello, is someone there? Whoa. Mind, Mind blown. blown. Look, she's probably lost. We can't just leave her out there all alone. I'm going. Well, you will do no such thing. Her timing is awesome. Why are you always trying to be the boss of me? Keep your voice down. She can hear us. If she can hear us, then maybe we're supposed to meet her. We have no reason to go out there. What is that? <laughs> well, now we have to go help the horse. No, 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 wait. Is that your umbrella? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, let's go home. Did I 
just wanted to say hi. What kind of person does that? I said she could take care of Tanner. Uh oh. I thought she'd have fun. Well, maybe you should let me decide what's fun for my daughter. No, Mom, it's not Dylan's fault. I didn't ask if I could ride. Do you have any idea how dangerous that was? What were you thinking? I just wanted to ride him once before we left. Well, we may not be leaving after all. We're staying. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. For now, Amanda. I'm going to tell Gam. Gam, guess what? I'm still mad at you. Sorry I couldn't tell you about the bed and breakfast thing. Your dad made me promise. Oh. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. You cool off. I'll chat later. Gammy, we're staying. We're staying. I get to stay here with you and Tanner. Oh, Peggy, that is wonderful. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that I'm going to be in charge of Tanner. I mean, not in charge or anything, but I'm going to make sure that he's brushed and fed and exercised and stuff, but you have to help me convince Mom to let me ride him. Oh. Never mind about the horse, Amanda. Oh, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. We need to figure out how to run this bed and breakfast. Come on, Mom. He's not exercising. Wait, what bed and breakfast? It's a long story. Apparently part of Pop's master plan. He's taken his home and made it into a bed and breakfast for us to run. So did you quit? No, I took a leave. They're not thrilled, but losing Dad seemed to have given me some leeway. It's not permanent, but we'll help Gam get this place up and running, and then we have to go back. Gam, are you hearing this? Oh, yes. I'm so glad that you and Tanner are getting along. Apparently, this is going to take longer than I thought. She'll be all right. Your pops really did set it up for you guys. Is this really the best time for you to just jump in? I'm not really sure you've shown you have a best time. What does that mean? I think you know what it means. Look, I'm just trying to help. I don't understand what... What are you looking at, Gam? Looks like my fairy friends are throwing another party. She's my daughter. Fairies? Oh, my, yes. Can't you see them there? Mom, come look. The forest has fairies in it. You know, I knew I heard voices when I was in there. <laughs> Mom, please don't fill her head with nonsense. Just because you choose not to see them doesn't mean they aren't real. <laughs> Dylan, have you seen them? Oh, no. I don't go in that forest. It's haunted. That's the smartest thing you've said since you've been here. Amanda, you stay out of there, too. What? No way. Uh, hello? Excuse me? Uh, excuse me. It's not that easy. Stop yelling at me. Hi there. Uh, I'm I'm sort of disturbed you, but uh, are you guys open? Oh yeah, your dad did have me distribute those. <sighs> Sorry, we're really in the beginning stages, but I can take your name and number, and I can call you back. I yeah, just, that's fine. Uh, I just need a. Your name, sir? Uh, Turk. Uh, Turk Peterson. Little turkey pee. <laughs> hey, Patricia. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you in like 20 years. Yeah, 20 years sounds about right. And wow, like, you look great. <laughs> Thank you. You too. You look great. I see you got your braces off. Yeah, well, I wanted to keep them on, but the dentist said 20 years was overkill, so <laughs> what can you do? Well, your teeth look great. I mean, not just your teeth, <laughs> you all look great. Uh, what are you doing here? Doesn't your parents live down the road? <laughs> yeah, I guess they are just down there, aren't they? Uh, uh, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to come clean. I heard you're in the area and I wanted to come see you. Oh. So, um, how was it riding Tana? Isn't it fun doing something you're not supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> I came here and... Everybody was here, and I, I got all nervous, and I, and I panicked, and uh, now I'm uh, really embarrassed. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to go, actually. Um, it's fine. Oh, I'll, I'll take fine. <laughs> fine's better than crazy, right? Yep. 
So, um, w would you, uh, uh, would, oh, right, yeah, no, I, I got stuff I can do. Sorry, what were you saying? He is about to ask you out to lunch. Uh, Mom! Uh, no, uh, no, she, she's right. Uh, she's abrupt, but, uh, uh, right. So, what do you say? Would you like to go for lunch? Sure. That sounds great. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, thank you for saying yes. Uh, would one work? Sure. Great. Uh, wow, I just realized we keep saying great <laughs> a lot. Um, okay, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll see you one. Maybe, maybe, yeah, from, yeah, okay. I'll just go. Bye. Sure thing. Uh, take your time. Hey, I'm taking her note right now. No, no, I don't think she'll be any trouble. Um, if you leave it with me, I promise we'll start this demo. Okay. Hello? Oh. oh, um, Ashley, right? Amanda. Ah, right, right. Uh, Amanda, um, I don't know if you heard, I was just, uh, having a conversation with, uh, my buddy. So what are you planning on demoing? <laughs> my buddy is in a band, and, uh, I'm producing the demo. Right, and why would my mom be any trouble? Uh, you, you know what, Amanda, uh, what if we keep this demo talk between you and me, and uh, I give you some money, maybe for a new a new saddle for your horse? Your horse could use a new saddle. I see. Mom! Mom! Oh, you, no, you don't need mom. No, no, you stay right here. All right, come on, we can go. Yeah, come back, come on. Did I hear Amanda? Yeah, she said something about going on a walk, but not to worry about her, and to buy you something nice for lunch. She's a handful, that one. Oh, I can imagine. I'll, I'll get the door. Yeah, I think so. Man, you really cracked into that branch. I tried to warn you. I thought you were a ghost. Ghost? <laughs> How crazy would that be? <sighs> You're a fairy. I bet it was the wings that tipped you off, huh? Are you gonna hurt me? Are you serious? You're like a thousand feet taller than me. Plus, you have this giant horse. <laughs> this is Tanner. Hi, Tanner. I'm Callie. What's that? Is that right? Did she really say that? She's here to do what? Well, what? What is he saying? <laughs> I have no idea. I can't talk to horses. Come on, let's get you all cleaned up.
I must be dreaming. Nope, no dream. Come on, my house is just right over here. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a giant girl with a crack noggin. <gasps> Callie, what do you think you're doing? Relax, McKenna. I'm just giving this girl... Amanda. Amanda here, something for her head. You can't just be bringing a ways here. A ways? Like, away from here. It's what some of the ruder fairies call you. Give me a second. You know what Alita said. What do you want me to do? Leave her unconscious in the forest? I'll clean her up and send her on her way. I'm telling Alita. Nothing personal. So, how long have you guys been here? Not sure. As far back as I can remember, anyway. Alita and some others came over on a boat. Others just sort of got here, you know? bang -o. Slap this on your noggin. Ow. Yeah, it's got a sting to it. But you'll feel better in the morning. Callie! Callie! Callie, did you hear? One of the fairies brought him away to the village. Hello. Hello! Oh, man. Be away! Amanda, this is Harper and Emmeline. One of them is smarter than the other. Oh, no, thanks, thanks Callie. Callie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I like the flowers in your hair. Thanks. We call them friendship flowers. We make them for each other. You want one? We'd have to be friends first, but then we could make you one. Sure. This place is incredible. Yeah, we like it. That's our place, over there. Since we're best friends now, you can come over. You may need to stay outside, though. <laughs> cool. The one beside is McKenna's. Don't knock on her door unless you like being yelled at. Which would be weird if you did. Whose house is that? That house isn't ready yet. What do you mean? A fairy door won't open until the fairy inside is ready. That fairy's not ready. There. See? Quick, hide in our house. Uh, let me move some stuff. <laughs> Told you she brought one. Yes, McKenna. Hard not to see her. Callie, explain yourself. Before you get too upset, I know the rules. But Amanda was riding through the forest and smacked her noggin. I couldn't just let her die, could I? You risk all of us, Callie. Oh, please. Why are we so afraid of them? Girls, that's quite enough. How's your head, little girl? Much better, thanks to Callie. You remind me of someone I knew a long time ago. Thanks, I guess. Tell me, what brought you through our forest at such great speeds? I almost forgot. There's this guy, Turk, and he's dating my mom, and I heard him on the phone talking about demos, and, and then he grabbed me. He grabbed you? Well, he tried, but I ran away. Well, what they do is no business of ours. As much as I see this pains you, McKenna's right. We don't interfere with what goes on outside the forest walls. Alita, Amanda might be in danger. My decision is final. I have my reasons for staying out. I must also forbid any further contact with Amanda. Amanda? That's my mom. Worried. We've been searching for you. Don't freak out. What happened to your head? We've got to take you to the hospital. No, Mom, it's fine. She helped me. Who helped you? Callie, the fairy. What's wrong? She can't see us. What? 
she's in between. Not young enough to believe in us. Not old enough to believe again. Sweetie, you're talking nonsense. Wait, come on. I have to tell you about Turk. There she is. Oh, Amanda, are you okay? We were worried about you. I heard him on the phone. He's up to something. I have no idea what she's talking about. I don't like this guy one bit. He tried to pay me to keep it a secret. What is going on? Okay, you you got me. I saw Amanda on the horse the other day, and she asked me to keep it a secret. I'm sorry, Amanda. I got to come clean. Are you kidding me? I feel bad. I see what happened now, and I just this is my fault. He was on the phone talking about demolition. Demolition? You believe me, don't you? Sweetie, you were just talking about seeing a fairy. Mom, you're unbelievable. Amanda! Easy, baby. Just let her blow off some steam, okay? I'm going to take Tanner back to the stables. Thanks, Dylan. Listen, I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. She's under a lot of stress lately. She's acting up. No, no. You don't need any more responsibility, all right? You have enough on your plate. You're a good guy. Aww. I really am. Asking. Relax. We just wanted to make sure you're okay. I guess I'm all right. We talked it over, and we decided we're going to help you. Really? All of you? Well, no, not all of us. But the four of us—that's better than nothing, right? For the record, I'm not here to help. I'm here to keep a logistical record of the events that transpire. I don't know what that means, but we want to help. <laughs> So much, guys. But what can we do? My mom thinks I'm just imagining you. Let's keep it that way. Meet us at the pond. That'll be our meeting place. Oh, I've always wanted a secret meeting place, Emmalyn. How long have I been saying we should have a secret meeting place? A long time. High five. Wing high five. <laughs> <laughs> forgot. You made this for me? Of course, you're our friend, aren't you? <laughs> for the record, we are not friends. Coffee, sir? Oh, you startled me. Uh, yes, please. Sorry, just making my rounds. Good morning, Mr. Peterson. Oh. Oh. Uh, everybody's sneaking up on me this morning. I uh, said the shoes are like a ninja. I should get a pair like those. Where'd you get them at? Where is our money, Mr. Peterson? Well, you know, like this. Cause I got finished this. chewing. Sorry. Uh, good news is it's coming. Uh, I know I had a bit of a rough patch with the dad, but now I'm kind of a 
wooing the daughter and I think it's safe to say without a doubt that uh, she's probably gonna sell the farm to me so uh, that's good for you because uh, then you get your money back nothing huh you're just like a rock you're a hard read I know what's going on in that head Mr. Peterson you and I are involved in an A, B and C situation A is the borrowing of my money which you did B is the spending of my money, which you also did. And C is the paying back of my money, which you have not. Which part of those letters involves me listening to you going on dates? Uh, well, I see what you're interested in. Because <laughs> uh, uh, I meant like C, like the letter, because of uh, what... Are you hungry? They make a mean omelet here. It's, I, I don't know what's in it for the life of me, but the chickens are like made out of gold. Take it, don't take it easy, take it. When you first came to us with this solution to your money problems, you said it was, how did you put it? In the bag? But I thought it was. I, Be quiet. I, it's terrible manners to speak when someone else is speaking. Sometimes just things don't always go according to plan, you know. You Morning, need to... darling. There's the smile I came in here for. Flattery won't get you free coffee, Charlie. <laughs> well, I can give you a song and dance, too, if you like. <laughs> Morning, Turk. <laughs> Morning, Sheriff. Don't you want your breakfast? No, I'm not really hungry. Is that one button or two that you stole from the village? Why do you automatically assume I stole them? Maybe I found these. How many? <laughs> one. Looks like two to me. One. You tried to kill me. Under the Order of Fairy Section 3, any act of violence against another fairy shall be considered... Oh! Now it's none. And stop accusing me of stealing. So she had two in the sack, but then she threw one. And then she threw another one. Oh, math is hard. Oh. Hi, how's it going? You're wearing the flower. Yeah, I made one for Tanner. I know I'm not a fairy or anything, so I hope it's okay. Of course it is. Wow, good job. Maybe you are a fairy and you just don't know it. Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> all right, I have it all figured out. We know he's up to something, right? Right, but since we don't know what that is, we just need to make him go away. Okay, how do we do that? I stole a bunch of stuff from Alita to help us. Come on, we have a lot of work to do. Thanks for coming. There's a lot to do around here. Oh, I'm happy to lend a hand. How can I help you? Well, you can take this into the stable. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. I really hope this works. Of course it's going to work. Sit back and watch. Oh, you're a big fella. Well, you must be friends with Amanda. You picked the losing side, horse. Oh, what? Think that's funny, huh? We'll see if you're laughing when I send you to the glue factory. Okay, I made a bunny ear. Oh, I made a rabbit ear. This should work.
Your chair might be a little more comfortable. Yeah, I fell. You all right? No, something tied my shoes together. Don't look at me like that, all right? I don't know what it was, but something tied my shoes. Nobody ever listens to me. Listens to you about what? I keep telling people this forest is haunted. What, like ghosts? Yeah, I've seen them. Bouncing lights, floating spirits. Well, that, that's crazy. That, that's not, that can't happen. Yeah, that's my cue. Oh, what was that? I'm gonna go. <laughs> well, where, where are you going? You leaving? Whoa! <laughs> Someone. <laughs> Whoa. Mark, Whoa. What is it? What's wrong? Shoot. She got ghosts going on over there. Ghosts? Yeah, yeah. They came right after me. All right. Come over here. We gotta get you cleaned up. Come on. <laughs> you know. I hate to think it, but that ghost is probably Amanda. She has a unique way of handling things. Yeah, well, I don't think she likes me very much. <laughs> Give her time. Her and my dad were really close. Yeah, I suppose it's hard when you lose someone you love. Yeah, he meant a lot to her. Well, I was meaning you. and Turk is still here. You have to lay your hand flat or the rock won't skip. My hand is flat. <gasps> Maybe it's too flat. No, like this. Watch. Hello? Are you guys even listening to me? Sorry. We're trying to get the hang of this. <laughs> Yeah, you got wet. You should mind. <laughs> she doesn't know herself. No. So what if he's going out with your mom? Maybe that will be better. I just don't trust him. We have to figure out how to get rid of him. So that's why you come down here, so you can talk to yourself. Hey, Dylan, what are you doing here? Well, I was going to the apple tree to get some apples for the other animals, but it looks like somebody here has cleared us all out. Sorry, that's my fault. Oh, yeah, that's your fault for taking such good care of Tanner. <laughs> Kiddo, you've been a lifesaver to me. Really? <sighs> yeah. Did your pops ever tell you how we got Tanner? Oh, I love this story. No, I didn't even know about him until I got here. Wow. Your pops and I were running an errand because Jean decided it was time for her to learn how to play the piano. Like most grandmothers, too. So we find one, we get all loaded up in my truck, and... We hear this guy, this real nasty fella, just yelling and carrying on. Your pops, being who he is, goes around back to see if he can help. Sounds like pop. Turns out this guy can't control his horse. Figures the best way to teach him is to beat a lesson into him. I'll be honest, I was ready to do something I wouldn't be proud of. But your pops, just cool as a cucumber, walks right over to this guy. Did pops hit him? No. He looks him in the eye and he goes, you know the difference between a guy beating a horse and a guy getting beat up by an old man? The guy says, no. Pops says, 
Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was so afraid of Pops, he just handed over the reins and walked away. So we ended up bringing home the piano for Gene and Tanner for Pops. And now I think I brought home Tanner for you, too. Well, anyways, I better get into the city for some apples. Do you, do you need anything? No, we're good. Thanks, John. All right. Well, I'll see you back at the farm. Why can't my mom date a guy like that? Okay, we have to come up with a plan. Now, I was thinking we attack his money, mess with his car. He'd have to keep getting it fixed. It will cost a fortune. Or we could hide one of every pair of his socks. That's always a good one. <laughs> You guys do that? Oh, yeah, that's a fairy staple. Kill two birds with one stone. What was that? I said kill two birds with one stone. Are the birds like a sacrifice or something? Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. You set your mom up with Dylan. She wins because he's a great guy, and you win because Turk's gone. Two birds. Genius! Come here! No, 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 thank you! Oh. You like us! Admit that you like us! <laughs> I'm not one of you! I'm just here for no taking! Tell us you like us! <laughs> okay, so how do we make my mom like Dylan? You brought the fairy dust, right? Yeah, I nicked it from Alita. She only keeps it for emergencies. Do you want me to tell on you? Because that sounds like the kind of thing you say when you want me to tell on you. She'll never even know. Okay, I'll go hit him with a blast and put him out. So what's in it? No idea. You don't know what's in it and you want to blast him with it? How much do we use? Let's try a handful! I solved a problem! You're so smart! <laughs> okay, first thing first, lose the hat. Gonna get cleaned up so I can get down and dirty. Gonna live it up. No way I'm leaving early. Gonna get cleaned up so I can get down and He looks good! <laughs> For and away, or whatever. <gasps> He's waking up! up good what oh huh. yeah I, I guess they'll sweeping no I mean you 
What? What? Yeah, you look good. Exactly is this for? Oh, whoever it'll fit. Did I ever tell you when I was asked to knit a sweater for the president? He wanted pink. Lots of secrets, that man. Are you ready? This is pretty amazing. Okay. Okay, so. Yes, it is. Children do. Well, all right. It sounds like you're accepting the challenge. Okay. <laughs> and that's how I got the pickle out. Wait. Was I telling the pickle <laughs> story? <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like I gotta go practice. I like it when you do that. Do what? The coin trick? Smile. Is that for a giraffe? What a wonderful idea. Scarves for giraffes. So it looks like you and Dylan have been getting along pretty good lately. <sighs> yeah. He's a big help around here. Is that it? Just a good employee? Oh, I see where you're going with this. <laughs> what? Where am I going with this? Yeah, I'd like to know. Oh, hey. What are you doing here? Well, I was coming to see if you wanted to watch a movie, but it looks like your dance card's already full. What does that mean? Oh, it means lately you've been pretty busy. Well, if you haven't noticed, we're trying to open a bed and breakfast, Turk. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right, you have no idea. It's just all in my head, right? Maybe it's not. You know what, Amanda? You stay out of this, all right? Okay, that's enough. Everything all right over here? Yeah, we're fine. Thanks, Dylan. Yeah, thanks, Dylan. Thanks for getting in the way. Pardon me? Okay, you know what, Turk? I think you better go. What, are you serious? Yes, I am, actually. I think we could use a little bit of time here. Sorry about all this. Well, you should be. I figured out how to make that coin disappear, but <laughs> I can't make it come back. <laughs> what? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you went over. not polite to slam doors, Mr. Peter. Oh, Mr. Green. Uh, wow, you are... You're really good at sneaking. Is it my fault? For sneaking? Did I not enunciate the words enough for you about getting my money? Uh, no, no, it's not that. You're really good at speaking, actually. Um, I didn't realize we locked an actual date. I thought it was more like, you know, when someone says something like soon or whenever, uh, if it works to get it back to you as Stop soon as talking. Yes, sir. My associates and I feel it's time for us to step in. No, no, really, please. I'm, I'm really close. I can do this if you just... Manners, Mr. Peterson. I'm really sorry. If you just... I can get this deal done tonight. Oh, actually, no, no, I can't get done. Uh, if you give me five more days, I can get it done. Just five more days. Okay? Uh. 
And then my mom told him to go. It really worked! <gasps> McKenna, you're a genius. As far as records go, I didn't do anything. But off the record, I'm happy for you, Amanda. Thank you. This is so great. Turk is gone and now we can hang out all the time. Where is everyone? They're gathering supplies. They won't be back for hours. So what now? Celebrate! <laughs> is this? Alita. We were, um, just showing Amanda here. Uh, we were celebrating because we helped get rid of the bad guy. What? I thought I was quite clear when I said that we were not getting involved. They were just trying to help. We don't help humans. Fairies stay in the forest. Alita, I can explain. You disappoint me most of all, McKenna. Say goodbye to Amanda. You won't be seeing her anymore. What? What? Bye, Amanda. Amanda? Wait, is that really her name? I've been calling her Alana. Why did no one tell me? Bye, guys. Sorry. For what? Being my friend? I'm not sorry for that. So I guess this is it, huh? Hold on. Here, take this. We can use it to talk. You light it up from your window, and I'll make my wings glow so we know that we're thinking about each other. Callie? I better go. Hit me up at your window later so I know you're okay. Okay. I thought you were a giant firefly coming to take me away. Hey, Gam. Everything okay, Petal? I got my friends in trouble. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll be all right. In the long run, the friends who get you into trouble are usually the best ones. Did Pops get you in trouble? <laughs> oh, did he ever? <laughs> I miss him. You can't really miss them if they're still here. I see your pop at the breakfast table singing his off-key songs. I smell him every time I open the shirt closet. And look, right over there. Pop made it sure that you and he could still go on your rides. I love you, Gam. From your first breath to my last. breakfast. The toast is kind of burnt, but at least the eggs are... Never mind, they're burnt.
Can I come in? You all right? No. It's been a couple of days, Amanda. Are you going to spend the whole summer up in your room? Maybe. She really loved you, you know. She loved you, too. What do you say? We go down to the kitchen and have a nice cup of tea. And I'll fill it with sugar just like him. I guess. Good. Come on. <clears throat> what is this? I think you need to sit down. Excuse me, I have things to do. Can you sit down? I don't want to sit down. What is he doing here? Sorry to hear about your grandma passing away. She's a real great woman. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me how great she was. Amanda, I think you need to sit down. Stop asking. I'm not sitting down. It's best you do it quick, like a Band-Aid. What is this? You're going home, kiddo. Mom, you can't. This is a lot for you to take right now. It's really for the best, Amanda. Turk, you're not helping. Let me guess, you sold the farm too. What? I was kidding. Mom, what about Tanner? I know, but we can get him a place close to home. This is home. It's all good, Amanda. Your mom sold me the farm. Aren't you happy? You get to go back to the city and see all your friends again. I don't have any friends. All my friends are here. How could you sell this place? But it was different when it was the three of us. But now... Now what? Say it. Amanda? Say Gammy's dead, so it's okay. Say Pops is dead, so it's okay. I don't want to fight. Say you hate me, so it's okay. Wow. Teenagers, huh? doesn't even look like me. Day one. The other said it would be too much trouble to bring the fairies and they'd have to stay behind. But Alida said good friends don't let a little trouble stop them. Day 40. We've been at the farm for a couple of months. There's this boy who keeps bugging me. Alida says it's because he likes me. I just think he stinks. Pops. Day 100. Okay, so maybe he doesn't always stink. He brought me some flowers today. I think Alida helped him pick them out because yesterday she kept asking me what kinds I liked and today this kid magically shows up with the exact ones. Either way, 
It was sweet. Last day. So I guess this book ends with me marrying the stinky kid. Turns out he's the most amazing man I've ever met. Oh, I have never been so happy. And I owe it all to my dear friend Alida for asking me what flowers I like. Funny, I haven't seen her in a while. Perhaps she moved away. I hope she knows how much I love her. Thank you, Gam. Mom! Mom, I have to show you something. Hey, slow down. Get out of my way. I have to show my mom. What's that? Stop! Relax. I'm just looking at it. I know what you're doing. Yeah, what's that? You used my mom to get this place. And when you said demo, you meant tear it down. But once I show her this book, she's not going to sell it to you. Hmm. You have it all figured out. Did your mom tell you that she's already signed the papers over? Let it go! Hey, hey, hey. Relax, all right? Just take it easy. You won't get hurt. Come on. <laughs> Amanda was just showing me her scrapbook. She's actually got some wonderful drawings She's and lying! This is Gam's book, and it proves that there are fairies in the forest. What is going on here? Look, I found Gam's book, and Turk doesn't want you to see it because there are fairies in it. Look, there are photos of Gam and Pop when they were little. I think it's safe to say Amanda's seen things. Just look. Look right there. Not about the fairies. <laughs> These are just drawings, Amanda. They're not real fairies, just drawings. You just have to believe. They don't exist. Look, I'm getting worried about you. You're way too old to be imagining fairies. I am not imagining them. doing our job okay what is this Turk what's going on I have no idea I'd be happy to shed some light uh, mr. green I wasn't expecting you so soon oh I think we've waited quite long enough Turk uh, <laughs> uh, now you see in the long run this is actually gonna be a funny story you're gonna laugh but mr. green technically owns the farm now well most of it I, I still own 10% of it actually uh... My associates and I no longer feel your vision and ours are aligned. What? We've decided to part ways with you, Mr. Peterson. Hold on, you can't just cut me out. Oh, we can. In fact, we just did. <laughs> you see, the property is signed over today. And you said your part would be taken care of ages ago. Your wooing took far too long. Wooing me? This was part of your plan the whole time? I can see how it looks like that. But if you give me a couple seconds, I can show you that this is financially beneficial for the both of us. Mom, tell them to let Tanner go! Not somewhere you want to put your hand. Look, whoever you are, I made a mistake. I'm not selling you the farm. So you can get your goons and get off my property. Tisk, such bad manners. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. My mother taught me better. Pretty please, with sugar on top, get off my property. Much better. Unfortunately, this deed says that this property and everything on it is mine. Tanner? So pretty please, with sugar on top, get off my property. You can't have it. Amanda, come back! Amanda! to help. Amanda, what's wrong? Some people are here to destroy my farm. What is this? Alita, please, I'm begging you. They want to destroy the farm and they want to take Tanner away. I'm sorry. We can't interfere. She didn't forget about you. 
I know you think she did, but she didn't. She always loved you. She just got too old to see you anymore. She would never turn her back on you. You always said good friends never let a little trouble get in the way. I guess you were wrong. Going anywhere, <laughs> hey, just take a breather. Keep calling everybody. Come on, I'm sure we can come to a reasonable solution. Just calm down. Well, we need you here now. Get over here. Get your kid out of here. Listen, if I could control her, I would. to play nicely and do this legally, but you are insistent on forcing my hand. So now we'll do this another way. you're playing here, but I assure you, this is the end! Yes! I think it is. Who wants to tell me what the blazes is going on here? This guy was trying to burn down the stable. Is that so? Sheriff, I think you'll see here that I am the legal owner of this property, and as such, I have the right to do with as I see fit. I guess technically this is right. But Charlie, there are other circumstances. I'm sorry, darling. But if he owned this property, he'd be within his rights. Thank you. That is, if he owned the property. What? I just showed you the deed. I know, these papers say that you do. But the problem is, I'm the one that did up the deed for this place. And it was split. Yes! Then the old bag died! It went to the mom! She signed, you backwoods hick! Fair enough. Only thing is, my good friend Jean had me draw up a new will, signing her half over to someone else. Me? Yes! <laughs> What? So, you got half the deed signed, but you need both. Miss Amanda, you looking to sell your half? Never. Then it looks like this contract is what we backwoods hicks would call null and void. Turk! Yep. Get 
my car. I'm leaving this mannerless hole. I'm afraid that's not going to be possible. You tried to burn this down. That is attempted arson. Ow! Oh, they're too tight! That's for calling my very good friend an old bag. Manners, Mr. Green. Oh! <laughs> Why don't you come down to the station too, little turkey pea? Um, I'm not very involved in this. I should... Oh, I'm sure there's some kind of fraud charge I can make stick. Come on. Thank you so much, guys. You saved Tanner. What are friends for? Amanda, look at the shooting star. Are you coming? What is it? A new fairy. Come on. Amanda, where are you going? Why don't we just stop fighting her? See where she's going. Okay. Trust me, you'll love it. The shooting star means that a new fairy will be joining our family. Let's all welcome them with open arms. Guys, I know this is hard for you, but just believe. Just try. I'll try, but... Who's ready? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This fairy's never come up before. They said they only come out when they're ready.
of this dance? Of course. <laughs> I love you guys. From your first breath to my last.